Hey guys, welcome to a new video today. I'm going to show you how you can start painting and drawing with Krita. So the first thing we have to do to install it, we have to go to krita.org. I'm going to leave the link on the description. And once we are here, this is the website, we're going to put get Krita now, and then we are going to get this page. And here you can download Krita. So basically it works for Linux, Windows, and Mac. So click there download it and follow all the instructions to install it. Once we have Krita installed, we are going to open Krita. And this is the page that is gonna appear. This is how it's gonna open. And we have this window over here and here we can create a new file. So it's pretty easy. We just click here and we create a new file. And we are going to get this window, okay? In this window, we can change the width, the height and the resolution. If you have an idea and if you know exactly what size you want it, just put the pixels or you can also change to centimeters, millimeters, etc. Also, you get some pretty fine measurements and you can put, let's say, film in 4K and we are going to get the exact uh, measurements. OK, also, if you want to change the orientation, you can click over here and you can put it vertical or you can just put it here and go horizontal. Also, we can click over here in content and we are going to get uh, this new window. So we can put here the name of our project. I'm just going to put YouTube test and we can select the amount of layers that we want in our file. So you can obviously add more later on, but you can start with, let's say five if you want. And if you want to start with a gray background, or another color, you can just select here and change the background color. So you can start with red, gray, or any color you want. I'm just gonna put a bit gray because it's easier for me to just start with a gray color. And you can change the opacity of your background. So if you want, you can just put down to 23 or whatever you want, but I recommend just starting with 100. And if you want to describe your project, then just go there and put the description of your project. Once you are done with all that, we can go and just create a new file. So Krita is going to open like this, and this is going to be our canvas where we are going to paint. If we want to start painting, we just have to go over here and select our brush. And now we can just start painting. So pretty easy, right? If you want to make it easier, you can just type the letter B in your keyboard and you will get the brush. So that's a shortcut that is going to help you move faster. And if you want to erase, you just have to type the letter E on your keyboard and now you can erase. Another way to do it is you can go over here and just select here so you can start erasing. There you go. Really, really simple. And if you want to get rid of the eraser, just click over here or click or type your letter E in, on your keyboard. So that's the way we can start painting. And now we can uh, draw anything we want. So I'm going to show you some of the shortcuts that you may need to move in the interface and to move in Krita. So if you want to zoom in, say you wanna paint over here and you wanna zoom in, uh, just type the plus sign on your keyboard, okay? And you can zoom in. If you wanna zoom out, just put the minus and you can zoom out. So it's actually pretty easy to zoom in and zoom out. Also, if you want to move, just click on the space bar and you're going to get this hand. Once you have that, drag your pen or your mouse and you can move all around. OK, so this is pretty good. So you can start moving all around your painting and this is going to help you paint faster. And now we can start painting this it's just gonna be so much easier right now let's talk about the interface if you don't like this interface maybe it's too crowded or you want other windows open you can go to window and then click on workspace here you're gonna find some of the presets you have so if we go to animation we get this new layout where we have the timeline and the animation curves also, if you want to learn animation, I have another video about how to animate in Krita that is going to help you. But let's continue. If you want to paint, I recommend you to use the workspace Big Paint 2 or Big Paint. 
These two are really good for painting. I I, I use them a lot. I use actually Big Paint too. I like uh, this one. And it's pretty good to use uh, paint because it has the color, the, the, the tools that you use and the brushes over here. And if you want to create your own layout with your uh, own windows, just go to settings and click on dockers. And here you will find all these, all these uh, dockers that you can add to your layout. And let's say we want to add the recorder. So we're just gonna click over here. And as you can see, now we have a recorder over here. See this side, and now we can start recording our, our painting. So if you like this layout, you can just go and go to Windows Workspace and create new workspace and you can just put the name and there you go so next time you open you're gonna go to workspace and you can see you have already your layout over there so pretty cool pretty easy and now we we are more comfortable using Krita now I'm just gonna talk a bit about the layers because they are really important so if you want to create a new layer you just go to the plus sign and create a new layer and as you can see you get a new layer over here so we can start painting in that new layer. And let's say we don't like this uh, drawing because it's pretty bad. So we can just select our layer and click on the trash can and boom, it's gone. So pretty good, pretty easy to uh, uh, use these layers. Also, if we don't want to erase it, but maybe we just want to hide it, we can just click on the eye and now it's uh, hidden and we can't paint in this layer now because it's hidden. So if we want to paint again, we got to go back and click on it. And now we can start painting again. So this is pretty useful if you are doing a painting with different layers. So you can just see your changes and you can change the opacity of your layers and do a lot of things with the layers. I'm just going to make it like pretty basic for this video, but uh, I hope you, you get it and you understand. And maybe in another video, I'll explain more about layers and how you can blend and how you can use the layers in Krita. And for last, let's talk about the brushes. So here, obviously in Big Paint 2, we get the brushes over here. So we can just go and select the brush we want and start painting. And I recommend you to go and try them because there are some really fun brushes. I think that's one of the things I like about Krita is that it has a lot of different brushes that are pretty fun so go around try them and test them and see what you like what you don't like well that's one way to get the brushes also if you right click on your mouse you are going to get this window and here we can change the size of our brush the opacity of our brush and the angle of our brush so so as you can see the angle of this brush is different than the angle of the blue uh, strokes i did before and also you can also change here the brushes and you can also zoom in and zoom out with this menu. So this is actually a pretty good menu because you don't have to go around searching for stuff. You have everything over here. Also, if you want to change the opacity and you don't want to open the menu, you can just go over here and change the opacity or you can go over here and change the size. So pretty useful again to just do faster painting and to don't move around too much okay and if you don't have this window over here you can go to design click over here and you will find all the brushes uh, that you have and here you can choose the brushes that you want and start painting and experimenting with these brushes so it's pretty good pretty easy and also it's free so Krita is amazing because of that and I think it's a very powerful software, especially for painting. Now, let's say, imagine this is an amazing painting and we want to save it. Let's go to file and we can just save as. And here we are going to choose whatever we want. We can put a Krita document or if we just want to, or you can also save it as a JPEG. But I recommend you to always save a Krita document so you can keep working on it or fix whatever you need to do. Now that you know all these, now I think you can start painting and create your own paintings and drawings in Krita. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. I might do more videos about Krita and painting. So if you like it, just leave a comment or like it and subscribe to the channel. And